Hi everyone, now here. Welcome back to my channel um, and welcome to a completely new environment. That's my bathroom and you already see some ponies behind there. Um, today I want to show you how I handle pony hair. Um, actually that was requested also on my Instagram and I think that might be a nice video. It's not directly about like cleaning ponies, it's more like uh, if you have ponies that have this like whatever fizzy tangled hair and you want to do some nice curls, that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. Mm. We will do different kind of curls, mm. so I want to show you what you need or what you could <laughs> use. Um, very important straws. So I'm using like two different sizes of straws. So it's um, like this middle, not, not the very huge ones, not the ones that you are getting for boba tea, not, not these, but a little bit thinner. Um, and then the very, very um, common thin ones. So we're I um, already cut them, so I'm, I'm reusing them over and over again. About like, um, like I cut them in half, uh, and these thin ones sometimes are also cut, cut in three parts, so that I have a lot of these. A lot of these, you can't see them <laughs> because they are kind of uh, see-through. If I want to do like really just huge curls that just like are like flowy waves, not really tight curls, sometimes I'm using like these, like this size, this is actually my own hair curlers and if you have like um, dolls, like bigger dolls, like um, my, um, my uh, Little Miss Singing Mermaid for example, I use these, so this is like more the human size curls for ponies. They are actually, if you want to have like tight, like um, curls, like for the rainbow curl ponies, for example, this is too big. Just want to show it to you. Not going to use that today. Just for like really, like for example, my um, my princess brush grow. Um, I just have one. That's why I say it in singular. Um, the, the really long mane, like I I curled with this, and then it's just a very huge flowy uh, curl. So not going to use today. Um, I am also using these simple butterfly clips. I have different sizes, so it's just an assortment. Um, and depending on uh, um, what kind of curl and stuff like that, or how many I have left, that's also something um, that I have to consider. I'm also then sometimes, or most often also use these um, normal bobby pins. My assortment of bobby pins. Yep. And for some curls, I need some small um, toilet paper cuts. So not for all of them, but for, for this one. Yeah. Let's get into it. Of course, at first I wanna like clean them, but most of these aren't uh, exactly like dirty, so it won't take long, and that's not the main focus of the video. Yeah, that's what I expected. They are not dirty or anything. It's just a little bit of a cleaning. I need to clean my ponies, otherwise I feel like they uh, don't belong to me. <laughs> it's just when I clean them and style the hair and everything, then they are mine. When but of course you need to get the hair wet. And then I'm using um, conditioner. I'm using just the conditioner that I have on hand because that's the one I'm using currently. And you have to put a lot of conditioner in there. I have to say some of these, like especially the two pony friends, they have cut hair. Like this probably could be the still the correct length. I think this, there's a little bit cut. Let's see how we can handle that. And then I'm using a comb that's about this size, so not the very, very small ones, but these. Oh. You could also uh, use like a really pony comb, probably that would also work. Then just 
gently brush through. Always start at the tips here. Spunky originally had uh, curly hair, so that's why I'm also giving her curls again. Oh, yeah, the hair is a little bit dirty, so it makes totally sense to go through it. Some people like to um, yeah, let the, um, the conditioner longer for a longer period of time in the hair. I don't think that that makes a difference because it's nothing that, like it's, it's plastic and it doesn't go like in the hair. You. So now it's nice and smooth, you can brush through it. Yes. I will do that now with every um, of the ponies. Zigzag here has super short hair. Um, I can't do anything with that, so that's, that's not interesting to you anyways. Um, if I get the correct color on hand, I will rehair it. So. So with zigzag, I, I'm not gonna do anything. I just try to cut it at least a little bit evenly here. So that's that's it for for a little zigzag. It's just getting on my um, heating, so. And for the rest, let's get started. The trick is not to start like from the bottom and roll it like up like this, but to place the curl like exactly where you want it to be, like either here, now I want it to be here, and then starting from the top and also make sure to not roll it around while it is like like already in a roll, you know what I mean? Uh, it needs to be flat, otherwise you get those, those corkscrews <laughs> um, that some people might like, but um, I certainly don't. And really tight. And then I secure it at the top with one of those butterfly clips and also at the bottom, which is not always the easiest because some hair is like different length and then it, it's sticking out, but most often uh, it, it's enough. You can also roll around toilet paper here, but if it's not really needed, and uh, I prefer just keeping it like this. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, while I do that, I can um, give you a little bit of information about pony hair in general. Pony hair is um, nylon hair. Uh, that's actually why uh, we can do the curls just as we are doing it, uh, water and then let it dry in this shape that you want and then it kind of nearly sticks like that and you don't have to use heat. Um, you can use heat to um, like um, make the curl like tighter and even stay longer and everything but I don't like that because heat too 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 hot uh, like temperatures also like damages hair but if you have like dolls for example that have polyester hair like Barbie or like Lady Lovely Locks or those curly kittens from Lady Lovely Locks you can't do it like what you're doing with the ponies you really have to give them um, a boil perm so they really need to um, be put in boiling hot water for like a second or something um, to really like hold um, the curls. With ponies it's not like that. Oh my goodness, that's not so easy to divide the colors here. Um, like you can um, emphasize, I don't know if that's the correct word, um, the curls like if you, if you really want them to stay completely super tight and everything like super um, then you can also use a boil perm but wouldn't actually recommend that not needed actually. Keep in mind, don't twist the hair in itself before. It needs to be like completely flat on the straw. Now, like this, doing the same with uh, the tail, of course. <laughs> So that's what she looks now and this is the, my preferred way to secure the, um, the straws like with these butterfly clips. Now I'm almost out of them, I ran almost out of them. Um, so the next um, pony I will show you how to do that as well with bobby pins. Um, I could just maybe buy some more but also I had more of these and then they break and then they get lost and nah, you know. <laughs> uh, but. If you don't have um, some of them, then you can also do it with normal bobby pins. I'm gonna show you that um, the next pony. So I need to decide what to, to decide what side I want the hair to go. Like that's the problem with the Tootsie pose. <laughs> do you put the hair on that side, which would be normal because her her head is turned like this and the hair would fall to that side. But this is the display side, you actually want to have the hair at the display side, right? Something like this? Or should I do it like this? One side here? <laughs> Can't decide. <laughs> I think I'm going to do like this curl to this side and all the others to this side. By the way, um, rain curl actually like this strand of hair used to be pink mm, fading pink but I'm gonna um, this time also again I'm gonna keep it white I'm not gonna repink it or anything I think if I would just like um, 
let them dry, air dry, nothing to do nothing. Some of the curls, of course, they would recover. Some of the factory curls, you can you can see that already. If they if they would come back, but that's not that's not the curl I want. I want a really tight uh, ringlet curl. So now I'm gonna take my bobby pin. Uh, some of them have these riffles um, at the top. We don't want that at the top of the hair, so we want those inside the straw. Um, and then you put them on like this, and that should also be uh, that should also secure it. Same at the bottom. But I'm most often then using not just one bo bobby pin at the bottom, but more. By the way, the forelock is uh, the thickest, so the white or pink uh, is the thickest, so yellow is not as uh, not as much hair, the other colors don't have as much hair, the forelock is for some reason that, that will probably also affect how the curl is. The more hair you take into one curl, the less um, like tight it gets. So also that makes a difference if you start this direction or if you start that direction, I'm gonna start like this. I think that um, will look better for the way I want the hair to fall around that side. So if you have more patience than me, then you can definitely always use uh, some, some toilet paper to cover that before you put it on. Um, Maybe I do it for this, because this is like a little bit, uh, yeah. Maybe I do uh, the next curl the other direction. So this one I curl to the front and this one I curl to the back. So we have a different outcome, so you can see what the different outcome is, because I also never exactly know which, which way it looks better. So let's try it. I mean, now it's like, eh, what do you mean? But, but, but do you know, here I started like this, like to the front, and here I go back the other way around. probably already noticed that it takes a little bit longer to put on the bobby pins and to, to secure everything than uh, what we did with these butterfly clips. It's faster and for me easier. So I should totally invest in some more. <laughs> So now we have our two girls and we will put them on my heating. Bad lighting, but that's just my normal <laughs> um, living room lighting. Here they will stay uh, over the night and it needs to be warm. So that also helps because then when it gets warm, it also keeps um, the uh, shape better. Same technique as a boil perm, but not boiling hot, obviously. Um, yeah, let's continue with the spunky and as you 
can already see like the ends look uh, really dry and um, frizzy but as uh, we're going to curl this um, this little camel's hair um, I'm always okay with when the ends are like this because you won't see it that much when it is curled um, I will show you how to defrizz the hair um, on Tap Dancer afterwards so so with Spunky here I'm trying to do like a different kind of curl not like this tight um, uh, super tight uh, neat uh, long curl but more like a for, like a more natural and I'm doing like a different curling technique here so let's let's start here with the tail um, because it's longer <laughs> So I will divide it in like different strands. Let's, let's, I don't know. Oops. Let's maybe do it. Something like this. And here I'm definitely gonna use my, my uh, toilet paper cuts. Um, because I'm putting the ends in here. Can you see that? Oh no, maybe I'm doing it here. <laughs> like this. And now I'm starting to curl from the bottom. So not from the top and wrap it around. The, uh, <laughs> uh, start, actually, this doesn't matter. I can also lay it down. Um, and I'm basically doing that so uh, the hair, the ends keep to get, um, are like better kept together. That's easier. So. Again, using the bobby pins. Oops. And as you, I did, I did say that, but I'm using the smaller ones here. You might notice right away that I'm not putting all the different, um, all the hair at this, the whole. Um, Straw, like not over the whole uh, length of the straw but more like tighter together and uh, that's also that makes the curls like bigger and it looks like completely different than when you curl them um, from the top as we did for these neat um, ringlet curls so I will also maybe maybe I do the next strand a little bit bigger strand of hair <laughs> and now we're trying to curl these small, ah, these super small hair ends here, but let's give it a try. Just trying one very small. Okay, there we go. Tap dancer. <laughs> Here it is uh, the same. Like, can you see that? Uh, this this bush, bushy end here. Um, to be honest, 
I could also go with it and make a little bit like more curl, cool. but I want to show you something like with the mane I actually just want to leave it and try to restore what's left of the factory <laughs> don't want to say curl let's say factory wave um, but here I'm um, trying to defrizz um, the, the ends therefore I will use my um, straightening iron now I've changed position because um, I always have to, to put the pony like be, um, between my legs um, to be able to that it doesn't like um, swivel around it needs to stay at the place because now the hair is still wet and I'm going to use my um, straightening iron at low temperature and divide the hair always into very thin strands like this one and just going through it and then I always make it a little bit um, wet again already you can see it is not really super working here at the ends but maybe a little bit mine put it on very low temperature mine actually I'm not able to <laughs> put a button or something or temperature here um, but I always unplug it so that it doesn't get too hot you might <laughs> recognize it takes some time because even though this is like a pretty thin I mean it's not a super voluminous part of hair so and and it's not super long or anything it just takes time but I hope you can also see that it already gets this side here is already way better than what we have over here. So. actually the best uh, it can get uh, it is still like let's say starting from here like half a centimeter or something is still very frizzy and with the mane I actually like I don't know should we keep it like this or should we do a little curl I think we do a little curl
I just wet it down a little bit again. For the main, I want to try to um, leave the kind of factory wave that, that it already has. And I just put in one small butterfly clip to keep it like this. Let's see how that turns out. Like you never know, you never know. Now these also go onto my heating. So that's it for today. The ponies and camels <laughs> are drying there uh, overnight and probably tomorrow evening I will return to them and uh, for you that won't be um, a very long time, probably just the next second. So, so we're back. This is the next day. All the ponies have dried completely and let's just have a look how the curls turned out. Okay, where do I start? Let's start the back here, the tail. I think that turned out perfect. Uh, it turned out as I wanted it. Right now they look like perfect but as we didn't do a like boil perm so it's just like uh, wa with um, washing the hair and then drying it, um, it won't stay exactly like this over time. It will uh, loosen so the curls will loosen, will get a little bit bigger, puffier and longer. Um, to avoid, or not completely avoid, but to work a little bit against that, I'm doing something which some pony collectors probably would do. I'm using some hairspray. Really gently, and not spraying it onto the body, of course, um, but that helps to keep the curls less, you know, you, when you're doing hairspray in your hair, that also helps to keep the hairstyle. Um, and it also doesn't damage the hair because when you wash it again then you can wash out hairspray as you do it with your own hair so If you sprayed something onto the body, you know, I didn't, but then you can just wash it off, of course. So, oh, she's beautiful. I love her. Yeah, but also it's okay if the curls loosen a bit because um, like from the factory, they also came not exactly that uh, tight, a little bit more loose, a little bit longer, of course. So over time she will look 
um, still look perfect. Rain curl here. You remember we had uh, these other, other, <laughs> these other um, uh, bobby pins here instead of the instead of the butterfly clips. So let's see how that turned out. Let's again start with the tail. So as you see, the outcome is the same. Uh, the only thing is that the curling process and the fastening of the um, straws takes a little bit longer with these. So. Here you can see the differences from the direction that we curled, like this way, this way, the other one was the other way. Um, doesn't make a huge difference, I mean looks different from the back for sure, but... And same as with the straps, so let's give her a little bit of air spray. Let's have a look at Spunky and see how these turtles curls turned out. Because uh, do you remember we did them differently? We did them not like from the top and wrapping around. We started really at the bottom and um, so. They're not as like neat and, and they're a little bit more wild, like with this here. And I'm also planning on like dividing them. look way uh, shorter um, you have to if, if you want them to be like longer again then you have to maybe water them down a little bit maybe that's what I'm doing but for now I'm um, I'm not pleased let's have a look at the mane which was already super short before Don't give up if, if something like is like super looks like super fizzy or no, or have you have divided like it into uh, two thin strands of hair or something. You can always like 
in the correct direction, wrap it and until the end and it might get neat again, like you have something like this here. Can you, can you see that? Then I just take it, look which direction, like swirl them around. Um, again and you can also see here this is a like there was probably well, probably a shorter or a thinner strand of hair whereas here this curl is way bigger and more like voluminous um, because I took a bigger strand of hair so with the um, <laughs> with the very very short um, mane I'm super happy that looks exactly as I wanted Maybe I wet it. It's, uh, my, my hand is now wet again. Wet it a little bit down because I want it um, to be at least like floor or floor, floor length. A little bit of hairspray into this. So. Yeah. And now let's have a look um, what the tap dancer looks like. I did one big curl, like with the whole tail. that <laughs> so definitely want to brush this out so it is more like a general um, wave but let's have a look here I will also brush that out yeah. just some waves and honestly, for brushing out pony hair, I use pony brushes. <laughs> um, I use them um, like when with the dry hair. I really use pony brushes, and not uh, the big uh, human comb that I used for um, um, like cleaning the hair. So let's, let's see. What we can do. I think I like that. So not 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 just a tight one curl, uh, but a little bit more loose. Same as the, as the mane, which is not really curl. It's just a wave. That's what I wanted, like a, a big wave that could also be very well like from like. I want to show you another example of um, what the curling method can do like for like a difference. This <laughs> little um, beauty friend's puppy, so fakey, <laughs> um, has like like was curled whoops, with this size of straws. But clearly uh, the mane or <laughs> head <laughs> whatever uh, hair um, looks way bigger and, and, and like like more crazy or something and these um, or like than this this looks way like longer and more neat so these curls were done like from the bottom you know rolling up and these were done with wrapping the hair around the straw so this can be the difference, like this or you get this. So 
just to maybe make make clear what what the curling method can make of a difference as well like this <laughs> and this but these were also different sizes you know these were the bigger straws and this were the smaller straws So I hope this was interesting and helpful for you. Um, although there are lots of other great video tutorials um, about how to curl pony hair out there and everyone's doing it a little bit different. This is just the way I do it. This is the way that works the best for me. Uh, I hope you had fun watching. If you like, then like the video, um, give it a comment or subscribe to the channel if you aren't. Yeah, see you real soon and may the force be with you. Bye.